Bernard the maestro of luxury branding. When you think of luxury, one name stands tall, Bernard Arnault. This man isn't just a business tycoon, he's an architect of desire, a craftsman of exclusivity. His entire empire is built on a singular powerful idea that just be the most expensive, be the most expensive, but also the most desired. Consider the brands under his LVMH umbrella. Louis Vuitton, not just a bag, but a statement. Fendi, the epitome of fashion forward thinking. Givenchy, when elegance meets audacity. Tiffany & Co, every diamond tells a story. Moet, uh, celebrations aren't complete without it. Verve Clicquot, the champagne of champions. These aren't just brands, they're legends. Each name evokes a sense of grandeur, a promise of unparalleled quality. When you buy one of these, you're not just buying a product, you're buying a piece of legacy, a status symbol, a feeling of belonging to an elite club. Now, I'll be honest, I'm more of a, a, a thrift store king. Uh, I wear King G stubbies and Crocs kind of guy. Luxury brands, not my jam, but the genius behind them, absolutely fascinating. So here's the secret sauce in Arnold's strategy. Intrinsic value is key. Before you even think of luxury, ensure your product is top notch. It's not just about looking good, it's about lasting long and being functional. An LV bag isn't just about the logo, it's about the craftsmanship, the durability and the utility. It's luxury with purpose. Second, positioning is everything. Once you have a stellar product, it's time to elevate its status. Remember, price isn't just a number, it's a reflection of value. It can be tangible, quality and durability, or it can be intangible, brand and perception. And perception drives desire. My old man once said, if you can perceive it, you can achieve it. Luxury brands thrive on this. They don't just sell products, they sell dreams, aspirations and desires. They create a world where their brand isn't just a want, it's a need. It's about perceived value, about creating an aura of scarcity, making people think, I need to have this. Now, as service business owners, we can learn a lot from Bernard. The service businesses I often see position themselves as a commodity. They sell time for money as if they were a raw and unrefined asset. And they beg for business and suffer the comparison of run of the mill competitors that do exactly the same. If you want to succeed in a crowded market space, you need to rise to the top. And it's far easier to succeed as a value-based player, encompassing the elements of utility with a sprinkle of luxury. We don't need to be Louis Vuitton. We just need to define what luxury means to the ideal clients in our market. And when we understand this, we can become the most expensive and in turn, the most valuable. If you wanna learn more about this, I'm actually running a workshop next week. Uh, so if you click the link in my bio, uh, you'll be able to register for all of the details and that uh, we'll be covering off these premium pricing strategies.